Hello and welcome back to Cox Community Connection. As you can see, we've made it to our Pensacola studio, where now we're going to talk about a couple festivals going on in Escambia County. The first one is a brand new festival to the area, and we're going to be uh, talking about it going on in November. Joining me now is Gerald Hall. He's the chairman of the Pensacola Egg Fest. Welcome and thank you for joining me. Thank you for having us. First question that has to be asked, what is an egg fest? We get a lot of funny looks when people, when we tell folks we're having an egg fest and they say you're cooking eggs and uh, well, actually it's a barbecue festival featuring the big green egg uh, smoker and grill. So, okay, so the egg fest festival, what are y'all going to do? What's, what's going to take place during this event? It's actually, it's going to be a great event. We're going to be inside Wahoo Stadium along the concourse and we're going to have 60 teams all cooking on big green egg barbecue grills um, competing for people's choice and for judged uh, prizes. And we're gonna have people walking around and the sole purpose of all the visitors to, is to taste all the delicious food that they're cooking on those big green eggs. And what kind of food are they gonna cook? Is that up to the chef, up to the each individual team? Or are y'all gonna set uh, where you guys are cooking barbecue, maybe you guys are cooking something else, or how's that gonna work out? Well, the, the beauty of the Egg Fest is we've taken kind of the best parts of different cooking competitions. Um, it's a tasting first, so the sole purpose of the cooks is to give their food out and have folks taste it. And we've given 100% autonomy to the chefs. They can cook whatever they like. Some are doing low, sm low smoked, low, slow smoked barbecue. Some are grilling oysters. Uh, one team told me they're doing smoked meatloaf. So really, the sky's the limit. We're going to have just a wide variety of food to taste from very good chefs. And I know the people that use the eggs are very passionate about the eggs. It's, it's almost like a, uh, I don't want to say like a cult, but it's almost a, a cult in a way. If somebody out there watching this, like, oh, I really want to be a part of this. I'm you know, great cooking on my egg and I, and I want to take part of this. How can they do that? How can they become one of these teams? I think cult's an ac accurate word. <laughs> we, we're, we call ourselves eggheads. It's egg a little heads. more polite way of saying it. Um, they can log on to PensacolaEggFest.com and register to cook. It's just $50 to sign up and register to cook. Uh, again, all the proceeds are going to Chain Reaction. I think we'll talk about uh, mm -hmm, yeah. that group. But they can log on to the, web, to the website, read all the rules and details. My information, uh, email and cell phone are on there if they have further questions. But we'd love to have anybody that wants to cook. Even if you don't own a big green egg, that's the beauty of it. All the eggs will be provided for you. The demo eggs will be available, so you don't have to lug your egg around there. And if you just want to try out cooking on a big green egg for the first time, that'll be available too. So somebody can first time come down there and, and compete with the, the veterans on the egg and see how they hold up? You'd be surprised how some, the first time somebody uses an egg, how quickly they pick it up. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so coming down to the Wahoo Stadium, you said it's along the concourse. Yep. Are there any other activities, anything for the, the kids to do while, while mom and dad are upstairs eating? That's a great question and the answer is yes. We've actually got uh, the batting cages will be open. So great. if you've never hit in a pro stadium batting cage, that's available. It's part of your entrance fee. Uh, we also will have bounce houses, uh, they'll have a pitching game, and they'll have a Wii set up there at the Wahoo Stadium. And we've got a sponsor that's going to have some other activities for the kids. It might involve a green egg of some sort. So, <laughs> uh, it, You mentioned that you're going to have the eggs out there after the event is over. What are you all going to do with these eggs that are used? Well, the, the, the folks that have purchased the demo eggs, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times if you've just purchased an egg, you're not going to want to cook in a competition. So our partner to Scambia Electric Motor is discounting the eggs pretty deeply. But the deal is you got to let us use the eggs for the event. So okay. you'll have a four hour old egg that's been pre-assembled, which is worth letting somebody use it for four <laughs> hours. Uh, you already mentioned them a little bit, but Chain Reaction, they're really the, the big reason for this event. Tell us a little bit about Chain Reaction, what they do and kind of what their mission is. Absolutely. The, the whole purpose of the Egg Fest is to put it is a fundraiser for Chain Reaction which is the local teen volunteer center. Mm -hmm. um, there's only two in the state of Florida and there aren't that many in the country. And the beauty of Chain Reaction is we have kids from all walks of life, uh, you know, all socioeconomic levels. And the key ingredient with these teenagers is that they wanna give back to the community. We call it, they want more. And so we've got a teen center located down at First City Church where the kids can get together, work on marketing projects, work on community service projects. And Chain Reaction gives them that framework. Last year, we had about 1,200 teens donate over, um, I want to say it was 2,000 or 22,000 hours wow. uh, for local nonprofits. And the financial impact of that was a little over $220,000, where we save local nonprofits uh, money by using our teen volunteers. And if, if somebody out there wants to volunteer with Chain Reaction, how do they go about doing that? What, what can they do to sign up for that? They can go on to the Chain Reaction website. It's mychainreaction.org. They can visit first the Teen Center at First City Church uh, in the, between 3.30 and 5.30 every afternoon. Just stop by, take a tour of the center, meet some of the teens that are working there and some of the staff, Kristen and her folks that are 
uh, taking care of the organization. That would be a great opportunity to meet some of the teens while they're there, kind of get their, their feeling of their experience they've had to, to really help bring in more volunteers. That'd be Absolutely. great. Uh, we got about a minute left, so uh, if you could, once again, kind of rehash the event, tell me uh, the date, times, um, tickets, how people can get tickets, yep. and any other information you want to make sure people Absolutely. It's uh, November 9th inside Wahoo Stadium uh, from 11 to 2 is the tasting mm -hmm. event. If you want to log on and find out more information out about the event, PensacolaEggFest.com. If you're a Facebook user, it's Facebook.com slash PensacolaEggFest. Uh, tickets are just $25 if you buy them in advance. It, a ticket also gets you in, uh, an entry into our raffle. We're giving away a big green egg, a Yeti cooler, and a $500 package from the butcher shop. So oh, very nice. it's a great raffle. Um, November 9th, Wahoo Stadium, and it's all to benefit Chain Reaction. Great. Sounds like a great event and good luck. I mean, the first year, I know y'all are excited and this brand new event that people are, are you know, looking forward to. So thank you very much for, for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Great Gulf Coast Arts Festival. Stay tuned.